And today's lesson is going to be specifically about getting pre-made models and pictures into your tilt brush environment so you can use as part of your picture or use as reference to draw your own. Now, some of this stuff is PC only, but not all of it. A lot of this stuff is going to be usable by the Quest users because a lot of this stuff is coming from the internet. As long as your Quest can connect to your Google account, a lot of this stuff whoops, is indeed going to come from the Google system, specifically Google Blocks and the Google Tilt Brush Poly system on the internet. So we're going to be using these pieces to get both the PC and the Quest using custom graphics, custom models in your Tilt Brush environment. So let me get rid of some of this stuff and get these out of the way. So we're gonna be looking at how we're gonna do this on the computer, whether you're using the Quest or the Vive or the Index or the Rift. Now to start with, we're gonna look at models. Models are completely finished pieces for us to work with. And we're actually gonna be connecting to the Google system called Poly. This part, if you're on the PC, does not require an account, but it can be helpful. On the Quest, I believe, since you're signing up directly already, it's going to be using your Google account to connect. PC users, if you do want to connect to your Google account, you may need to fire up a browser and actually log in. For everybody using it, on your controller, down here at the bottom, Profile, that's where you can actually log into the Google system directly from within Tilt Brush. But once we have these tools, Built in is this section here called the Poly Library. It looks like a 20-sided uh, die. Well, this Poly Library has access to a bunch of pre-made pieces other people have already made. Plus, you can make your own using Google Blocks or if you have a 3D program on your computer. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on Poly and it brings up this panel. Now, if you do log in to Google, it will remember using the like system, which are the models you like. So as you go through the Poly website and click on like, under the star here, it will show which are the models you like. So I got a TARDIS and it lets me actually put it as a finished object into the game. Just like any of other other objects, we can throw it away if we don't want it. We can make it bigger or smaller. The star, it's just one of the popular models today. All of these things are available for you to bring into your tilt brush. So if I need a guitar, here is a guitar. Now I'm going to make it a little bigger. And now I've got a guitar to play. Or to incorporate into my picture however I see fit. So the Poly Library really lets you grab other pieces to be creative with. The star is just your featured miniatures. The heart is any ones that you marked in in your Google account when you log into the Poly website online. Plus, if you are an actual 3D artist, for example, if you use Unity or Blender on the PC, you can actually put your models into the system, whether you want to keep it personal to your computer or actually upload them to the internet and let other people use your models. That's where most of these came from. As you mouse over it, in the smaller letters, it will tell you who is the user that created it. So you can incorporate other people's models into your system using the Poly Library. On the main controller, that was the Poly Library. Now, once you've got these pieces in place, I'm going to grab this little razor bug here. We've got a tool. Now, as you can see, we can grab it and move it around, that type of thing, resize it, all that good stuff. Sometimes we want to lock it in place. It's easy to accidentally grab it and move it around, especially if you're doing detail stuff nearby. We have this ability called the pin. Here's where we're getting into the Quest doesn't have this lab section, but we've seen in the Quick Tools option this pin. So I'm going to grab it from my Quick Tools. If you remember how to get your Quick Tools, Quick Tools, pin. I can now pin the model with that big red pin. Now it will not let me, if I switch to another tool here, it will not let me grab this or change it in any way. 
The pin is to represent I can't move it. I can, let's get that quick tools pin, set it to unpin mode. Whoops. Quick tools, pin. If I unpin it, now I can go back to my regular selection tool, grab it, move it around. Models coming from the Poly library. Now, for those of you on PC, this is one of those things that is for PC only, not the Quest, for our PC users. In your computer, Tilt Brush, let's get this into a nice position here, Tilt Brush has actually made up a folder. If you look in your documents, docs, inside documents is a new folder called Tilt Brush. In here is a whole bunch of places to put Tilt Brush stuff. There's a folder for images. Any pictures you put in there, we'll look at how to access those pictures. It's got a folder for models. So if you make your own 3D models, this folder in your documents Tilt Brush will have another folder for models and things like that. There's a whole section called Media Library which has, uh, my A is backwards, there we go, uh, which has all the places for sketches, for uh, uh, images, that type of thing. We'll be using these folders a little bit later as we're looking at screenshots and things like that in one of the other lessons. But for now, this tilt brush folder is where you're gonna be keeping and accessing both models and images and that type of thing. So let's do that right now. For the PC users, We've got the labs under more options. Labs does not exist for Quest users, I'm very sorry. But this more options labs has a section specifically called media library, local media library. This also has places where you've got your YouTube chat and stuff like that. And in our sharing information classes, we'll look at some of these. These are unfortunately not available for the Quest yet. This is July 2019. They're working on it. This is something they plan on adding, but as of right now, when this is being made, it's not available. But this local media library will find this folder. So when I choose this, you can see I now can look at... Come here, please. Oh, you can't you can see. Okay, good. Both models and images images and models. You can see in the display how it updates. I don't have any models right now of my own. I'm not a 3D renderer, but if you put them into that folder, in your Tilt Brush folder, they'll show up here. I put in some pictures. So in Tilt Brush Media Library Images, I put in Van Gogh's Starry Night. Here is Starry Night in my Tilt Brush. As an object, I can change its size, change its location, that type of thing. I can use my Quick Tools pin to lock it in place. So now I can't accidentally move this picture. Let's undo that pin so that I can now go back to grabbing this thing and putting it wherever I want it. I can use this for a reference while I'm painting. So I can keep this here while I paint the picture there. Or I can actually use it as part of the picture. So I'll build a room and then hang a poster on the wall, wherever I want to see it. Put it vertically, there we go, a little nicer. But however you want to do it, it's available. The only thing to bear in mind, any local media will not be there if you upload this to the internet. If I draw this and then I put in some lovely pictures and stuff around it, whoops, some lovely pictures and stuff around it, if I upload this whole thing to Poly, it will not include your local media. I will get the blue outline, but not the picture. So bear in mind, if you do use these local media pieces, they will only be available while it's on your computer. They won't be generally available to everybody. So really it's useful for either your own personal use or for uh, a reference point. So I can draw a picture using, uh, I've got a picture here of the Eiffel Tower from Google Earth. Now I can use this as a reference for drawing another picture. Grab it and throw it away when you don't need it anymore. Whoops. There we go. 
So that's using local images and models into your tilt brush, but that's only available on the PC users. Now available for everybody, both PC and Quest, we've got the Poly Library for those models. We can use that Poly Library to share sketches and things like that, and we will be doing a later lesson on more detailed use of that Poly Library. You do need to be logged in with your Google account to be able to pass this stuff around. You can tell when you're logged in because at the bottom of your uh, controller is that icon for your profile. Hopefully you can see it on here. But that's to get images, models into your tilt brush for your greater pictures. So I'm going to bring in one more poly library model. I'm going to bring in that TARDIS. And I'm going to make it nice and big here. There we go. So thank you for joining us. Before I go running off into time and space, just let us know if there's any other information you'd like us to, to do for these classes. We're about to be moving into the uh, more intermediate level, where we're not only do we do tilt brush lessons, but we're going to start doing art lessons as well, bringing in perspective, highlight and shadow, that type of stuff, how we can use the lighting to really enhance the mood. So if there are things you guys want to learn about, let us know in the comments, and we'll see you guys later. Have fun tilt brushing. I'm going to step in the Stardust, and we're going to be taking off. So good night, everybody. Have fun with tilt brush.